Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how the DP calendar system works uh, for Joomla. So uh, we've got it set up on this website and I'll just log in and have a look under components DP calendar. So here we can manage events and add events and we can also manage calendars. So we can have several separate calendars running but on this website we're simply using the one calendar uh, we can also have several locations. So locations are places where the events are held. In this case, we've got a location here uh, in Victoria. I'll go back to the control panel and uh, let's have a look at the events in the system. I've created two events so far and uh, you can see a quick overview of the name of the events and when they are and the color that is used for them. Let's create a new event. Click on New. Add a title for the event, choose which calendar it is to be on, by default there's just one calendar on this website, choose the color that it is to appear with on the calendar, so let's do a uh, light blue. You can set up a URL which is uh, a link to an external website where people can make a booking perhaps. Start date and end date of the event. By default it's 4 a.m. which is really crazy, but let's uh, set it to a better time. You can choose whether or not the end time should be shown. Choose whether or not the event is to be all day. In other words, have no final time. In the paid version, you can set this up to automatically repeat every day or week or month or year. Add a description. You can also add a schedule. Now a schedule is used if you just wanted it to provide people with a timetable of what is happening on the day. So for example, you can then say uh, that will be writing class for 60 minutes um, in the forest and there will be discussion for 60 minutes in the classroom. You can choose to either create your own location or use the location that is here of where it is to be. You can choose to set up booking but by default on this website we're not using booking so we just ignore the tab for booking. Publishing is not normally needed nor metadata. Uh, images, if you select a full image that will become a, um, a picture shown on the event. So let's just uh, choose a sample picture here. Let me see maybe this one. We'll do this one. Insert. And then we'll click Save. Now let's go back to the calendar and refresh. And here is our test event. I click on it and here's the details. There's the picture I selected for the event. Here's the details of the event, and as I scroll down, there's a description, there's a schedule that I posted, here's the location information with the map. So this is how DP Calendar works for Joomla.